everybody and welcome to my 2x2 two two layer by layer tutorial. Now this is the beginner speed solving method for 2x2. Two two. Um, it is recommended that you know how to solve the 3x3 three three cube and it would be even better if you knew how to do for look last layer um, uh, and uh, the n perm, uh, sorry the t perm and the y perm but if you don't know them I guess you'll learn here, and then you can use those in your 3x3 three three solves to be slightly faster. So 2x2, two two, it's really simple. You just solve one face with the layer, then you orient the last layer, and permute the last layer. So if you don't know what that means yet, I'll show you. So let's scramble this thing up. So this will mostly be an algorithm sort of database. Because um, there's really nothing that I can teach here. So, first step, you have to get a face. Now, this should be fairly self-explanatory. Um, so, you just kind of put that piece in. And then I notice that if I do blue here, I can be faster. Now, one thing that I would like to note that's really quite important. Be color neutral on the 2x2. Two two. It's okay if you're not color neutral on the 3x3. Three because that can take some work because it's a lot more complicated but this is really 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 simple so be color neutral now uh, just a little tip um, if you for example uh, know some of these algorithms uh, you might not but you can sort of influence the cases that you'll get uh, while solving the face so you can really only do this for the last uh, piece, but you can see here, I have these two paired up, and there's green on that side, which is uh, opposite of blue. So let's say that you really like soon cases. Well, if you do, you can go ahead and instead of just putting that piece in like that, you can instead put this piece in like that. And then you can you'll see you get um, some uh, OLL finished. But that's pretty much all I can teach you. So I'll just show you how to solve a face once more. So uh, that seems like an okay scramble. So this we're good doing blue. So if I move this piece back here. And then I do this, F2, I can get that piece there, move this to the side, bring it up so it'll be down here, move that piece out, and then I can just put that last piece in, and then there you go. So you really just sort of have to figure out how to solve a face on your own. If you can't do that, then just learn to solve a 3x3 three three first, please, because you might, you would think that 2x2 two two would be easier than 3x3. Three three. And it is easier than 3x3, three three, but it won't really make sense to you unless you know how to solve a 3x3. Three three. So please, go do that now. So, if you already know how to solve a 3x3, three three, you're in good luck because now we will be going ahead and doing OLL algorithms. Now what OLL does is it will flip all of these pieces up. So you see how green is opposite of blue? Every green piece will be facing up. So for example, this is bow tie. And the algorithm for bow tie is that. And that'll make every single green piece facing up. So once you would have every game piece facing up, you then have to swap them into the correct position. Now there's only two possible cases for that, and that'll be either swapping two that are uh, adjacent or two that are opposite. So this is two that are adjacent, and that can be solved using the T-perm. And that's what you'll be learning. This is only nine algorithms, so you can learn this pretty quickly. So now I will cut to each case, and then I will show you the algorithm for it. Um, and then I'll cut to the next one, and then there will be annotations right up here, uh, 
hopefully with some images so that you can just cut to the case that you need. So I'll be back in a second. The anti soon case. This is really easy to tell because it's only one of two soon cases, and a soon case is where one piece is up and three corners need to be flipped. Or, oh, sorry, three pieces need to be flipped. So, if to differentiate from soon and normal soon, what I do is when I was uh, still learning and I was sort of bad at recognizing cases, uh, what I would do is I would move uh, the pieces back here. You can tell it's anti soon because if you put the piece right here, there won't be uh, a yellow piece facing you. Or if it's green, there won't be a green piece facing you. So, uh, move that piece back here. And we're doing yellow because I have a black face. So then you just do this algorithm. It's really simple. R, U2 prime, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime. And that would be the OLL finished. A normal soon. Again, anti soon didn't have a yellow piece facing you. Well, normal soon does. And you can just uh, keep it like this. The algorithm for this is... It, it's it's really just simply a mirror. Uh, R, U, R prime, U, R, U two, R prime. It's the whole bow tie. Hold it like this. Uh, so that. Oops, sorry. Hold it like this. Two p uh, two opposite pieces are solved. Two opposite pieces need to be swapped. Hold it so that uh, the pieces that need to be uh, flipped, uh, one of them is facing you. Sorry if you're a paper, but I'm really bad at remembering this algorithm slowly. So, what you do, hold it like this, and then you do F, R, U prime, R prime, U, R, U, R, F prime. And sorry, that last R should have been R prime, but there you go. Bow tie. This case is called T, and this will be where two pieces are solved, and then two pieces need to be flipped, and they're facing away from each other. So, this is really easy. It's just hold it like this, and then you do R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R, F prime, and then this will be solved. So on to the next case. Headlights, really similar to T, and except instead of these pieces facing away from each other, they're sort of like headlights. Uh, they're together. So you hold it like this, so that uh, they will be facing to your left. And then you do the, the, what's it called? The cross algorithm that you use for 3x3. Three three. So it's just F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. And then that'll be solved. Pi. Don't ask me why it's called this, I'm not sure. Uh, it'll, be, it'll be a combination of T and headlights, where you'll have headlights here and then you'll have T. So... Hold it like this, and then you just perform this algorithm. It's essentially like headlights, but you do R U R U twice. So F R U R prime U prime R U R prime U prime and then F prime. And just solve it. There you go. So that's uh, that is pi. This is called H, and it's just double headlights. So hold it like this. Uh, one headlight's facing towards you, one headlight's facing back. And then you just do R2, U2 prime, R prime, U2 prime, R2 prime. And then there you go, that's the OLL finished. Now we have to get on to the PLL, and this will be where... You see how it's, uh, it's oriented, and now we have to swap this piece to here, and this piece to here. 
Well, those are the two algorithms that you're going to learn now. And these are the PLL algorithms. So PLL, which stands for permutation of last layer, where all else stood for orientation of last layer, where you oriented other pieces. Now we're going to put them into the correct position. So you're going to learn two PLLs. You're going to learn Y perm and T perm. T perm occurs the most common, but since I have Y perm already here, I might as well show you it right now instead of just wasting time. So Y perm, it's where this piece needs to be swapped here. This piece needs to be swapped here. So if you did it on a 3x3, three three, uh, I will show you what it looks like. This is what Y perm looks like on a 3x3. Three three. So this piece and this piece needs to be swapped. And then these two edges need to be swapped. Um, so uh, since 2x2 two two doesn't have edges, you just have to swap these two corners. So the algorithm is as follows. F, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, F prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R, F prime. There you go, that is it solved. So you have T perm, which swaps these two corners. Uh, on 3x3, three three, it swaps these two corners with these two edges. Uh, ever since, again, 2x2 two two doesn't have edges, it's really simple. It's just the corner swap, and it occurs more commonly than Y perm, so memorize this first. F, uh, sorry, null F, it's just R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R2, U, R, U prime, R, U, R prime, F prime. There you go. I accidentally said U when it was supposed to be U prime there, but you'll notice it on the text and it'll probably flash on the screen or something. So there you go, now I can solve the 2x2 two two, as long as you memorize those 9 algorithms and you know how to solve a face. You can solve the 2x2. Two two. So, uh, thank you for watching this tutorial. Uh, I hope you memorize this. Uh, I think one of my friends will do or an Ortega tutorial, which uh, basically lets you solve a face. Not only you just solve a face, uh, solve another face, and then you permute both layers instead of one layer. So he knows that, so he'll probably do the tutorial for that. So uh, thank you for watching, everybody, and goodbye.